so welcome everybody back to the independent investor channel ryan here i think when a lot of people approach investing they approach it and they think that there's an infinite number of ways of investing uh, and the way my mind works in breaking down a very complex topic like this is to take it one element at a time okay uh, i enjoy passive investing in this video i'm going to drop you into my vanguard specialty etf portfolio it speaks to my devotion to this particular strategy. It works. It's a great way to seek out exposure to the market, seeking out diversification across your money, giving you the best chance of maximum appreciation of your dollars over time with taking on as little risk as, as necessary uh, to, to render those good profits in there. And, and I think when people look at the investing opportunity and, and they, they look at the, the infinite amount of options out there, they get confused. And I think the real takeaway from my message is understand the strategy that I'm looking to put on display during these videos, this being the passive investing strategy, and it can apply to the masses. So stick around, guys. We'll jump into the account and conduct the review. So the real benefit here to the viewers, to the independent investor channel is to understand some of the method to my madness and how I layer um, my approach to putting dollars to risk into the stock market. So this is um, my passive account with M1 Finance. This is comprised of the Vanguard uh, specialty ETF. These are the sectors of the S&P 500 broken down into um, 11 products here. And I've basically just taken and controlled um, my uh, level of scale into each of these. Um, so technology being the largest allocation that I have here, next healthcare, financials, discretionary, on down the line. So a lot of schools of thought would say, well, Ryan, why don't you just buy VOO and the S&P 500? Uh, I do. I own that in another account, in another capacity. This is just uh, a great way of breaking up the sector exposure and owning a little bit more in technology and a little bit less in telecommunications and everything in between. So it's a cool way of seeking out diversification uh, through the specialty ETFs. These do quite well and historically have done quite well at a very, very low expense at 0 0.10 on an aggregate across these 11 products. Very, very cool. And since these are diversified ETFs, they average about 10% a year, some a little less, some a little bit more. Technology, I believe, is a little bit more if you just own technology exclusively. And some people would say, look, I just want to own technology because it's the best performing. I, I would encourage um, you to not approach investing in that manner in that you're going to try to grab a sector exclusively because what ends up happening is that sector can fall out of favor um, and then you're stuck holding the bag on an out of favor sector and it may take months or even years to come back the technology historically has been very very good for growth and um, has is is one of the most important elements of a portfolio in my opinion and in, um, in aligned with my risk tolerance it's super important for me to have a nice big amount exposed to the technology sector um, so you can see here on the top end, we've got the most amount of money here, just over $2,000 allocated to this sector. So where I've got in my other single stock portfolio, maybe a few hundred dollars uh, in each holding, sometimes even less than that. Um, we bump that up here in the layered approach because the diversification adds a safety uh, level of uh, buffer and defensive mechanism into the portfolio that we can justify bumping this up a little bit um, to a few thousand dollars uh, and own you know everything that's in the technology sector all the way from the smalls through the mids and to the large cap technology names in the entire sector so it's it's pretty awesome it's a great strategic layer in the portfolio um, and, and it's performed quite nicely. So this here is uh, the cost basis for the 11 positions. 
Uh, I own this passively 100%. I, I add a dollar cost average strategy um, into this portfolio. Uh, it's done quite nicely. Here, it's increased in value of $4,654. And I, I, I think, you know, for the astute investor out there that is interested in sitting back and understanding how certain people um, uh, deploy their own personal style and program, the whole idea here is that I share my profile, how I align my profile with my strategy, and the very products that I choose to supplement my profile and strategy. So that, that's the real takeaway here. In other words, these products may not work for all strategies and profiles out there. But for those that do, there's a lot of people out there that may not even understand that you can invest in the S&P 500 in this manner, in the way that I have, in that I've broken down each of the sectors respectively into 11 slices using M1 Finance. And I can basically dollar cost average over this portfolio pie uh, and have those dollars dispersed upon each funding cycle. And it's just a great, very, very powerful. Obviously, this has just been uh, just over a couple years running here on this portfolio. It's performed incredibly well. And for anybody out there that, you know, has a risk tolerance that's somewhat midline, maybe even moderately aggressive, this is a... Um, this is stock. No, make no doubt about it. This is um, this is stock investing. However, held through an ETF that's low cost and it's held passively, um, it's just a kind of a, a hybrid way of investing in that each of the sectors are uh, split up uh, uh, separately in this portfolio. So it's just kind of a cool way uh, of monitoring each. Uh, I can't really differentiate here and single out um, any underperforming sectors because obviously, as you can see, they're all up. Um, so 11 for 11, we're batting 1,000 here. And for anybody out there who would want to challenge the success of a retail investor, um, I beg to differ. Um, I look to advocate for those retail investors. I don't have any skin in the game other than the fact that if my channel can grow, by nature of sharing good information, good usable information uh, in the trenches uh, for retail investors. My goal is to empower one investor at a time. What that means is somebody who doesn't know a whole lot of investing can sit across from my message and because I put it right in front of your face on what's possible in investing, what type of results can be rendered, um, what are some of the strategies that you should be thinking about when identifying who you are as an investor, um, what certain strategies look like. Um, none are created equal, right? Um, we can deploy strategies that make sense to uh, ours and we don't have to apologize to anybody. Um, become the investor you want to be, I think is really the key here. And we roll out these to just show what type of investor I am, yes, but also um, through the deployment of those uh, specific strategies, what types of results uh, can be expected. And I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled on the results in this portfolio um, just over the last couple of years. And we'll continue to build this up. The strategic long-term goal of this portfolio initially was to make the first 10,000. Um, we're marching right toward our next financial threshold, which is 25,000. Then it will be 50. And the long-term goal will eventually to get this up to a six-figure portfolio um, and then make some decisions down the line as to the uh um, as to the disposition of the portfolio, what we do then, but uh, we'll continue to build. This is a wealth building initiative done in somewhat of a hybrid strategy. I'm glad to share it with you guys. It's a portfolio mainstay that I share throughout uh, the channel and we'll continue to update you guys uh, as appropriate to monitor the progress and how uh, each of these 11 sector specialty ETFs are performing uh, as we grow wealth together. So with that, we'll kick you back and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the passive investing account. Um, there's only one independent investor channel, and um, I try to explain the information in a very unique way. That way we can reach the masses and get through to those folks that can just sit back and watch a message like mine for a few moments and see the success that's being rendered here from a passive perspective. Keep in mind, 
This was invested in two years ago, and it has not been touched since then. Very, very simple for all of those uh, individuals out there that know that it's super important to get involved in investing, but they feel like maybe they just don't have the time to devote uh, that would be necessary on more of an active profile. Um, this can fit a lot of busy profiles out there, and I think it can be really attractive from the perspective that you can set it and you can forget it. And guys, if you appreciate the information coming through on i2, I'm going to make sure and subscribe to the channel, leave your comments at the bottom of the video, and most importantly, share the message with anybody out there that you know may, may resonate with the message, may appreciate uh, the message that we put through on the channel, uh, and uh, bring them on. We'll, we'll, we'll be glad to have them and uh, teach them the fundamentals about investing and what the investing opportunity has to offer now in a new era of investing. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into the message and good luck in your investment future.